hello welcome back to my channel so we're gonna be doing a brownie series yes so this is the, gonna be the first part of the brownie series so this is gonna be a plain classic brownie that is one of my favorite desserts so first we're gonna start by getting a pan and going ahead and putting that on a stove then you want to add some butter now all the measurements are in the description box down below so add your butter and now let it just melt you want to melt completely you want really soft um, and completely melted butter basically and this whole recipe is done in just this pot so very nice so now that we've got our butter all melted you want to add your powdered sugar now make sure you use powdered sugar it just helps it like it just makes everything better so go ahead and give that a mix and then make sure it's all combined it should be just just butter and powdered sugar now we're gonna add some vanilla essence now you want to get this off the heat now and add some vanilla essence then add one egg now try to get no shell in there and go ahead and give that a mix as well so now we're gonna add our cocoa powder now I like a lot of cocoa powder that's why this recipe contains a lot of cocoa and I like that really rich dark cocoa type thing but if you don't like that bitter thing you can go ahead and add a little less. Now we're adding our flour, all purpose flour also known as maida and go ahead and give that a mix as well. Now if you look at the measurements you will know that there's less flour, there's less flour than the um, cocoa powder, that's how you want it to be. Then you're going to add some milk, just to make this mixture slightly less thick. It already is a very thick batter, but even then. Now we're going to add some baking powder. And go ahead and give that a mix. Now you want to add your baking powder just before baking it. Do not, do not add it before. Add it just before baking it, and you're good to go. Now we're just going to pour that into a lined um, and buttered and greased baking dish. Now the measurements of the baking dish is also in the description box. Depending on how thick you like your brownie, right? You can either make it smaller or bigger. Your choice. But this is how I like it. I like mine pretty thin because these are extremely fudgy. So it, it's a lot to take in. So that's why I like to make them pretty thin. But they are absolutely delicious. They're like chocolatey and rich. and mm. So now you just want to spread out your batter and the, you want to bake it. Now the baking temperatures and timing is in the description box down below this is the completed brownie it is so good it's fudgy decadent rich basically synonyms of the same word <laughs> and i'm just cutting it into slices i mean cu uh, cubes or whatever so now it's like you want to wait until it's completely cooled otherwise you're not going to be able to eat it because it's really soft if it's not cool thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video bye